Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about proportions. What's a proportion? Well, a proportion is a statement that says that two ratios are equal, which really just means that two fractions are equal, right? Because we express our ratios as fractions. Let's take a look. We are saying that three-fifths equals 21 over 35. And the way that we check that this is true is we cross multiply and see if those numbers equal each other. So when I say cross multiply, I, we're gonna multiply this 35 times the three, and then we're gonna multiply 21 times the five. Let's do it. 35 times three, five times three is 15, three times three is nine, and one is 10. So one side equals 105. Now over here, let's do 21 times five. Five times one is five, five times two is 10. Look at that, 105 equals 105, so this is a correct proportion. Now, I'm actually gonna give you some problems of proportions where one of these numbers is missing. Take a look at this problem. We have 42 over 63 equals B over 12. How do we find it? Well, when we're talking about proportions, remember, we're going to cross multiply. So let's draw it out first. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with my 63B, which is the same thing as saying 63 times B, equals 42 times 12. I'm gonna do 42 times 12 over to the side because I don't know that answer in my head, so here we go. 42 times 12, two times two is four, four times two is eight. And then 42 times one, let's add it up. Okay, we get 504, so 63B equals 504. This is just now a missing number in multiplication, which means we do division to find the answer. Let's do 63 divided into 504. I'm gonna do it up here. I'm running out of space down there. 504. And it looks like eight is the number. Eight times three is 24. Eight times, two, eight times six is 48. Plus two is 50. So B equals eight. So the correct answer, I'm gonna write it over here so you can see it. 42 over 63 equals 8 over 12. They are equal. Let's try another one. Take a look at this one. Again, we're going to cross multiply, so let's get my handy dandy blue out. We're going to do 3 times n equals 24 times 4. Okay, so let's do 24 times 4. We know that's going to be 96, and we have our 3n, and then missing number in multiplication means we divide to find the answer. n is going to equal three into nine goes three times, three into six goes two times. So n equals 32, and here's what it looks like when we're done. 24 over 32 equals three over four. If you think about it, proportions are really just forms of equivalent fractions, but sometimes it's not as easy to see, so we use cross multiplication as an easy way to make sure we can find the answer. Let's try one more. Let's try this example. 28 over 84 equals 14 over P. Remember, we're going to cross multiply and set them equal to each other. 28 P equals 84 times 14. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know that in my head, so let's do it over to the side. 84 times 14. Four times four is 16. Eight times four is 32, and one is 33. And then we have 84 times one. Here we go. Woo, one, one, seven, six. So 28P equals 1176. Now we have a missing number in multiplication, so we divide to find the answer. We're gonna do 28 into our 1176. Okay, 28 goes into 
117, I believe it's four times. Let's see, eight times four is 32. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11. So it gives us 112 with five left over. Bring down our six. 28 times two is 56. So our answer for P, P equals 42. And here's what our proportion looks like when it's filled in. 28 over 84 equals 14 over 42. That's it. As I said, proportions are really just equivalent fractions, but we have to cross multiply to find out the missing number. Make sure you try these practice problems. Do them over and over till you get them. All right. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.